Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing this little number from The Wig Company. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. And this is Dawn from The Wig Company. This is color number 1001, hashtag two, size average. Now the wig cap feels pretty average. It's pretty much a little large right back in here for me because my head is so small and I have no occipital bone. So let's take a look at the wig all the way around. Hold on, here it is. Now I have just basically taken this wig out of the box, shook her out real good and plopped the wig on my head. The fibers of this wig feel really, really soft. Now, let me get in here and let you take a look. This is a rooted wig. This wig is pretty white, and the rooting is dark, almost a black on this. Now, this is how the wig looks right out of the box. Like I said, I've done little to nothing to this wig. Now, the wig has permatease. This wig has quite a bit of permatease throughout on top and all throughout the sides. I believe right now this wig is also on sale at the wig on the wig company website. So that may be something you might want to take a look at. I'll drop a link down in the description box so you all can take a look at this wig. The wig company's basic collection is now the wig company timeless collection. So if you've looked at their wigs before at their basic collection, um, this is now the wig company timeless collection. Now, I tamed her down just a bit by running my hands through the fibers and flattening down some of that permatease on top because she does have quite a bit of permatease. And that's really kind of unusual for me because I'm usually trying to zhuzh them up to make them just look a little bit wild like that. And you certainly can with this wig if you want her to look, you know, big. And I like big hair. This wig kind of makes me feel like I'm channeling my inner, inner Dolly Parton because I think the wig is cute. Now, if you like to, you know, a smoother look, you can always smooth down this top. And that gives this wig just a little bit more versatility. I really think the front of this wig actually looks pretty good for a hard front. Um, I don't think that it's apparent right away that the that the front, it just ends right here. It doesn't have a lace front or anything like that, but I think this wig is cute. Now, just know that this wig does have a considerable amount of permatease. So when you get the wig, don't be surprised that it's gonna have that permatease in it because this is a lot of permatease. So um, I don't necessarily mind that because I do like for my hair to be poofier. I think it makes me look taller, which I think that's just, I'm just laboring under that assumption for some weird reason. I think the color of this wig is just really, really pretty. I love the white color and I love the dark rooting on this wig. Now, if you don't like a rooted wig, this wig is definitely rooted and you can see it. When I look at myself in the mirror, the rooting is evident in this wig. So this wig is definitely, this color is gonna be a darker rooting. So if you're not, if you don't like that, then you need to know that about this wig because that's gonna be, your, it's gonna be evident with this wig. So let me turn around again. Let me let you all see this. And then we'll look at the specs on this little number. Hang on. Here is Dawn on the website. There she is. Now you can see she is a pretty feisty little gal. She comes in a bunch of different colors and she is item number 231, synthetic fiber, traditional capless, which is a basic wig cap, petite, she comes in petite, large, and average. So this is the average size, and she is large on me right back in here. Some of the wig company's wigs fit me that way because I, I just don't have a lot of head back here. So what I normally do sometimes is I'll go in and just kind of sew that down on the inside of the cap. You'll never know it, especially on one of these wigs because they have plenty enough hair to cover it up. It doesn't mess with anything. It just kind of 
pinches everything together and it makes the cap fit just a little bit better. Um, but the wig weighs 2.70 ounces. The front is four and a half inches. The top is four and three quarters inches. The sides are four and a fourth inches. The back, five inches. And the nape, three and three fourths inches. I think the curl pattern is nice. I think this wig is cute. Um, I just want to make certain that everybody knows that this wig has a lot of permatease. Now, that doesn't bother me, but that does bother some of you guys because you've, uh, you've said in the comments. So, know that this wig is going to have it, and when you get it, you won't be surprised because it does have a lot of permatease. But I think the wig is cute. I think it's, I think it's kind of a spunky little gal. I like it. I especially like it with this head wrap. I think that is really just cool. Okay, so let's look at the cap construction on this wig. Okay, so here I am with my wigless self, but let's look at the inside of this wig so you all can see what it looks like. Um, you got your basic, basic cap. It's got your little Velcro adjusters on the back, and it's got your bendable ear tabs. Really pretty basic. Um, I do like, I really do kind of go with a, you know, a capless construction. I like it better. I think I have some notion in my head that it somehow keeps my head cooler. And I think that it just, I think that it does. So let me put this wig back on and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Okay, so I took the head wrap off and I just got back to the basic wig here because I wanted to show you all one more time how this wig looks all the way around. I think the wig is cute. I'm going to zhuzh this up just a bit and let you all see how much you can actually zhuzh this wig. I mean, this wig is pretty doggone zhuzhable. I mean, look at that. You can get all the height that you want out of this wig. And I think that is absolutely hilarious. Now, if you want to smooth it down, and get a more normal look out of the wig, you certainly can. But if you want a really wild look, go for it, girls. I'm just saying. I'm from East Tennessee. I love Dolly Parton, and we have big hair here in East Tennessee. So if you want big hair, you can get this wig as big as you want it to be. The more I mess with this wig, the more she is really <laughs> worming her way into my heart. Because at first I was kind of like, wow, that is a big hair wig. I mean, because when I first put it on, it was honestly right like this. And I was like, well, hang on there, George Washington. Let's get you straightened out here. But then when I just kind of smoothed her down and put the head wrap on her, and just kind of played with the wig just a little bit more, kind of placed this in different areas. I really, really enjoy this. I think this wig is cute, especially when you put a head wrap or a headband or something like that on with this wig. And if you wanted to pull it back and just leave a little bit right here, there's certainly enough hair there that you could. You could wear this wig right like this. I think you could tuck this behind your ears as well without any problem, and I think that's cute. So if you wanted to wear it like that, you certainly could with no problem whatsoever. In fact, I kind of like this like this. I may wear this like this today. So hop on over to the wig, to the wig company, check this out if you want to. The link's down in the description box. I think the color is beautiful. Let me show you all this one more time. It's picking up pretty true in the viewfinder, so no issues there, no problems there. So I think this is gonna be pretty close to the color that the wig actually is. So if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, it's One Brave Woman. On Facebook, it's One Brave Woman VIP group if you would like to follow me there. Just send a request to join. It's a private group to protect your privacy and I would love to see you over there. Our, com our community is wonderful. So that's kind of what I got going on. I ain't got nothing else. So I'll drop a link down in the description box to the wig and everything else you can take a look at when you get an opportunity. Guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless you all.
I love you guys. Maranatha, folks. Bye-bye.